Hi guys, Adam McCola here for Full Time Devils. We're at the National Football Museum where the FBAs have just finished. Robbie, both of us ended up ending empty handed. What's going on? Empty handed is the story of our season, isn't it? <laughs> story of last season. Um, but Not for us. We won something long. Enough of that, don't enough forget, of that. Don't enough forget, of that. I forgot about it. that. I've All wiped right, last right. season out of my mind and I'm sure you won't blame me. <laughs> anyway, we know what happened last season when I was here. I did that. <laughs> That interview saying we'll finish above you and all that. So we're going to start the topic. Who will finish higher? Manchester United or Arsenal? Arsenal. The mic is yours. And why? Arsenal will finish higher. Yeah? Yeah. Why? Because we've got a better team than you this year. You, you've got a very, very good team going forward. Mind you, we've got a dodgy defence <laughs> as well. <laughs> we can't talk about I don't know. I, I don't know. I just think um, consistently over the season, I think uh, we've got enough. Um, we've got a lot of players that are injured at the moment and as you guys have as well but I think when those players come back we'll have a, quite a strong Where team. Where do you think you will finish? To be honest at the moment it's looking like our same old uh, beloved fourth place at the moment <laughs> you know what I mean I've got to say The fourth is with you <laughs> The fourth is with us so, um, you know I don't know you never know you never know but Chelsea at the moment is running away with it isn't they? So. Can I have my mic back? <laughs> I'd like to argue that and say I do think Manchester United will finish above Arsenal this season. I know, I, was, I know I said it last season. The reason being, I think we're still yet to click and we're still yet to have that, that moment in the season which pushes us on and elevates us. And I think in Louis van Gaal, is, is, our defence is shocking, by the way. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and defend our defence because they can't defend themselves. But he bought so, um, but Hold on, wait a minute. They didn't, he didn't buy them. Who did he buy? No, uh, he, two. Bought he only bought Shaw, two. Luke Shaw and he bought... Marcus um, Rojo. Rojo. Who and else? They ain't really up for it. But that's, they ain't up for but it. Those, those two they ain't up for it. Luke Shaw will million. be our left back for the next 10 million. seasons at 30 least. 30 million. Is he Luke, worth 30 mil? He's not now. A As Rojo, the player he Rojo is now, but at the million. end of the season, he is will be. Rojo we never bought We never bought Rojo for 20 mil. How much did he cost then? I think about 7, 8 mil. We never bought 20 mil. 7, 8 but Marcus no, Rojo, that, on it? the back of his World Cup, was a good signing. But I don't think he's a future of a defence. But where I think we will turn it around is we've got a lot of injured players now. Obviously, I can't tell the future. They might all be injured for the rest of the season. But I think in people like Michael Carrick can come back. Daley Blind can settle into that midfield. And I think the team's still getting used to the way Louis van Gaal wants us to play. I think a lot of people have compared us under David Moyes and said David Moyes was better. That's a load of, part of my friend's bollocks. But like, that was rubbish because David Moyes never had us moving forward. And Louis van Gaal's got us playing the football the Manchester United way. We've got attacking why, players. Listen, you know, I want to ask you a question, right? Why is everybody, a lot of Man United fans, I've got a lot of United mates, right? Why are they so infused at the moment about van Gaal? Because he ain't really done nothing yet, has he? You, okay. haven't, you haven't really put in a brilliant performance yet this season. You haven't got going yet this season. I know you've got injuries a bit like us, but why is all United fans excited about Van Gaal? I don't get it. The reason we are excited about Van Gaal is because he sees the bigger picture. We've had 14 to 15 players leave this team. We've had seven to eight come in. That's a lot of new players to blood into the team. Yeah. We're playing a style of football that is, fits in with Manchester United's traditions. He's bringing in the likes of Paddy McNair at the back, Tyler Blackett, young players that he's blooding into the team. And therefore, we believe that he's the man to take us forward. He brought us Angal Di Maria, one of the best players in the world. He's not as, he's not Radamel bad. Falcao. Not as good as Sanchez. One of the number, <laughs> we'll get to that later. Not as good as Sanchez, Radamel mate. Falcao, <laughs> one of the best number nines in the world when he's, when he's fit. Always injured. And so we've got players there that can win. Chris is winding me up, telling me to do one. So, <laughs> Robbie, you give a sentence on why Arsenal will, will finish above United. I think Arsenal will finish above United simply because we'll be more consistent than Man United. United have got a dodgy defence just like us. That's why neither of us are going to win the league. I do actually think that we'll finish third and I think United will finish fourth. I said that at the start of the season. I, de I didn't think Liverpool, because of they've lost Suarez, I think you'll be in the top and four. because they're rubbish, say it, say it. <laughs> but, then, uh, <laughs> but then, you know what, we better watch out for Southampton as well. <laughs> I think United will finish above Arsenal because we will click into gear. Um, I said it before, we will finish above Arsenal. Quote me. Um, I'm going to say it again. I've got to go to the Emirates next week, so I better be quiet, innit? <laughs> anyway, make sure you subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV. Subscribe to Full Time Devils. Comment below. 
in a bit. I have come to the South Tottenham area, to um, em Emirates United, to do a little talk about the best ways that you can embrace other teams and become a fan of Arsenal. 